Hi Leo, welcome to January 2018 and Happy New Year! Now here in January there are three moons. The first one is the Cancer full moon on January 1st. Now this is a very beneficial positive moon. It is in a grand water trine with Neptune in Pisces and Mars in uh, Jupiter in Scorpio. However, you're a fire sign and so you're not going to be like, wow, this is great. I can really use this energy. You may even be tired, you know, as you go into January because Cancer rules your 12th house and that's the area of behind the scenes and uh, meditation, dreaming. It's the time to do your dream work. It's the time for you to write if you're a writer. And so it's not this fire energy that lifts you up and you know that'll come by the third week in January when the Sun moves into Aquarius and uh, Venus moves into Aquarius and then Mercury moves into Aquarius. So once the energy starts moving more into the air, the air feeds the fire. Here at the beginning of the month you have a Cancer full moon. It is a lovely full moon. It's a beneficial full moon. It's a very spiritual time for you. You're going to be incredibly intuitive. Uh, you, you'll feel inspired but you won't feel the energy of I need to take action right now. I need to get things done right now. You may not even have the energy to get things done. So if you're feeling physically tired, this is the time for you to rest and recharge your batteries. The sun is in Capricorn and that rules your sixth house. That's the area of your daily routine. It is your health habits, your work habits, and your lifestyle. And so when the energy is in this part of the chart, it really is about uh, taking it easy, not doing too much. You know, if you can be on vacation, this first part of January would be very good for you to be on vacation, to not be uh, working too much or doing too much as you move through these energies. Now, Uranus is direct on the 2nd. Now, all the planets are going to be direct until March 8th. That is the wind in your sails and that is about you know moving things forward but again you know as you first start you may be feeling more tired you may need more rest and you want to just take it easy and go slow with whatever it is that you want to achieve and accomplish in January and the months ahead now the Sun and Venus will couple together with Pluto on the 9th and then Mercury enters Capricorn on the 11th. Uranus will square Venus on the, um, 16th, the 13th and then the Capricorn New Moon is on the 16th which is also being challenged by uh, Uranus. So you know, you may be feeling challenged about turning your plans into reality right now. That's okay. You're going to have plenty of fire and plenty of energy to make your dreams come true. It doesn't all have to be done here in January or the first couple of weeks in January, especially when it's really stronger for the water signs and the earth signs and doesn't really kick in for the Leos until we get to... Um, the third week. So here, now this is a really important thing that's happening here because Saturn has moved into this area of, you know, the sixth house area, this area of your work, your work habits, your health, your health habits. Wherever Saturn is is where we're being examined and tested. So Saturn is testing your health. Saturn <laughs> is, uh, I laugh because I'm a Leo, and, <laughs> you know, is, is Saturn is, is such a heavyweight. And, um, you know, you have to work with your limitations. You have to work within the boundaries of the physical world. And when he's in this area, he is going to test your health. And, you know, so that's why you want to make sure that you're eating really well, you're exercising, you're getting plenty of rest, 
you're not pushing yourself, you know, I'm recording here in December, this is not the month to push. Mercury is retrograde. Don't push in December. Don't push the first part of January. It's really important that you honor the physical, honor the body, honor the, the physical realm that we're in, and, you know, take your time. Saturn rewards hard work. He rewards patience and perseverance. And in this area of your life now, he's going to test your work. You know, you may notice that you may, you know, for those of you working for someone else, do you feel appreciated at the job? Do you feel appreciated by the people that you work for? Or if you own your own business, <laughs> do you feel appreciated by your patients, your customers, your clients? And, you know, this is a time for you to take a look at that. And what changes can you make so that you are feeling good about where you are and what you're doing and who you're with? Now, this is a crazy new moon, this Capricorn new moon. It, it, we got six planets in Capricorn. We have Venus, Moon, Sun, Pluto, Mercury, and Saturn, all in Capricorn. And the new moon itself and Venus are being challenged by Uranus. Now, when Uranus challenges like this, it compels us to action. And for you, you know, Uranus is right at the top of the chart. He's getting ready to go into your 10th house, your destiny in the world. And that'll come in May. Uh, you know, so you're looking at it now, here in January, because Saturn's already in that area of work. And so maybe for some of you, you are thinking about, like, you know, do I want to be doing this work forever? Or what changes? How can I change my work so it's more fun for me or more interesting for me? Or do I need to be liberated from the work that I'm doing? Because Uranus is certainly going to be offering that up later in the year. And I talk about that in the year hat, the 2018 through the 2020 for you. Um, and so you're going to start feeling some of this right now here in January. Do I want to make changes to what I'm doing in the world? Do I need to uh, change how I need? Because Uranus is about freedom and liberation. Now, Uranus is still trying the Leos. It is in harmonious energy flow with you. And Saturn is still trining Uranus. So you are going to be able to make positive changes to your work in 2018, in January, February, and so on. So you are going to be able to make those positive changes that you want to make. Or maybe there's some changes you need to make to your health. How can you improve your health so that you have more energy and can do the things you love to do and want to do that's fun for you. So, you know, take it slow this first couple of weeks because you're going to feel drenched in water. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's just not your strongest energy. It's great for creativity. It's great for meditation. It's great for relaxation. Anything you're doing around the house, it's great. Uh, anything you're doing in your home, wherever you are, that's fine. That's great. But it's not a take charge, go conquer the world energy. Because <laughs> you'll be like, I'm taking charge. I'm going to conquer the world. Oh, but maybe I'll, if I take a cat nap first, then <laughs> maybe I'll take on the world tomorrow. Right? You could do your Scarlett O'Hara. I'll think about that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's your saying. I'll think about that tomorrow. And it's true because it's better for you to wait till your energy returns to take action than to try to push through and, and hope your energy returns when it won't because you keep depleting and depleting, right? And so um, this is the time for you to really pay attention to your health and well-being, the balance between your life and your work. Life work balance, not work life, <laughs> is, is you got to have a life in order to have work. And so make sure you're taking good care of you so that you're feeling good, you're feeling energized, you're feeling charged up, and you're ready for action when things start to move into Aquarius, which they do. Venus enters Aquarius on the 17th, sparking that relationship house and relationships. Then the sun flies in on the 19th. 
and bringing the focus to relationships and partnerships and other people. Mars into Sagittarius on the 26th, that's going to light up romance. And, you know, you could be thinking about a romantic getaway. You know, the 19th on is a really good time for you to take a vacation, to travel, to go on an adventure, seeking fun and new adventures. Uh, you know, so plan on that. If you are, you know, able to do that, get some time off, you know, uh, the 19th on, and you'll be really glad you did. You'll be really glad you, you took that time. Now, another positive thing, and there's many positive things happening this month. Jupiter is sextile, Pluto. And that goes exact on the 14th. It's part of the Capricorn New Moon on the 16th. And it's going to happen again April 14th and September 12th. So the energy is going to be around all year. This is about you doing your homework so that you can go after a raise. This is about you getting a raise. And the 15th is the perfect day for you to ask for that raise. So do your homework and make sure you're like really calm and cool and collective, you know, just like put it on, you know what I mean? Like dress for success. And then show your boss on paper why you deserve the raise. And then when you do it that way, you know, then you're bringing your boss on board. You know, the higher ups are like going, yeah, you know what? This Leo really deserves a reward. This Leo deserves a bonus. And so let's make sure she or he gets that bonus. So you will be making more money by taking your time, doing your homework, being really knowledgeable when you approach the higher ups hey, this is why I deserve this bonus because I've been doing all this work over here. I've been doing all this work over here. Look at the results I've gotten you here. Look at the results I'm giving you here, right? And when you approach it from factual evidence, they can't say, oh, well, no, you don't deserve that. So they have to give it to you. So that's another reason why you want to take your time. First couple of weeks in here, do your homework. Don't be in a hurry. And then when it's time on that new moon or on the 15th, the new moon's on the 16th, have a sit down with your boss and ask for that raise. And you'll get it. You will get it. And you're going to be making more money in 2018. You're absolutely going to be making more money. And it's exciting. Now, Mars is heating up the romance department, and then you have the Leo total lunar eclipse on January 31st. So the Leo eclipse on the 31st is bringing you back to the total solar eclipse in August. So what's happened with you since August until now, till almost February? So it's about six months. What's been going on with you? and what needs to change. Now, for some of you, you may be feeling the call for recreating your self-image because Leo rules your first house. So when I do these, I bring the sun to the ascendant. And so Leo, the, the eclipse is falling in your first house. You get one new moon a year, one full moon a year. This is your full moon in uh, January. And this is an energy where you could be feeling like, I want to change my self-image, you know, like color your hair different or, you know, I don't know, cosmetic surgery, whatever you want to do, you know, is, is go for it. Um, you know, find the right dates to do things. You don't want to do it on a Mercury retrograde, you want Venus strong, and, uh, you know, whether you want to do a beauty makeover or um, a lifestyle makeover, you're going to notice that uh, for some of you, you want to make physical changes to boost your self-image. But also, I think it's fun for you to do this, too, because it's like, um, it is going to raise some eyebrows. For those of you that, like, go out and, you know, color your hair purple or something, like, do something really dramatically different that gives you a whole new look. Um, it will be interesting. And it's time. Why not? Uh, why not? Now, this is on the 31st. And then Mercury enters Aquarius on the 31st. And so, 
you know, this is bringing the focus to you now and your opposite sign, Aquarius. So is it interesting how, you know, we can, we're in polarity with our opposite sign, but then we become like our opposite sign? You know, because it's very Aquarian to go out and do something unique to the appearance, you know, ring through the nose, <laughs> uh, you know, new hair color, but something wild, you know, and... Uh, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, it's going to be unique for each Leo who's watching because you all are on your own unique path. And so, but if you're feeling compelled to do some sort of image makeover or, you know, self uh, makeover, go for it. This is your time to recreate yourself, reimagine yourself, re-image yourself. And it will be surprising to others, but that's fun because that's the Aquarian. Aquarius likes to surprise people. <laughs> and so you'll be more Aquarian in that respect where you're just like, oh, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to look different and it's going to surprise people that I look so different. <laughs> How fun, right? And it's fun for you to do it too. Now, Neptune is making an awkward aspect to the eclipse. And this is the time to heal your inner child. You know, so whatever, you know, comes up for you, whatever uh, past hurt or pain, this is the moon to let it go, do a ritual. You'll feel so cleansed as you go into February and ready for this new year and ready for spring in the Northern Hemisphere <laughs> as, as you wait for that sister Aries energy to uh, light you up. And so... You know, this is a dynamic month. It's, it's got a lot of positive energy. It's got that grand water trine and a uh, very auspicious, beneficial, cancer full moon right at the beginning. All the planets are direct. They stay direct till March 8th. That's the wind in your sails. Uh, then you have this very ambitious, action oriented energy with the Capricorn new moon for you it is about taking action with your work your health going for that raise going after what you want really thinking about if you're in the right company or in the right line of work where do you need more freedom where do you need more creativity you know you know are you expressing your greatest self-expression through the work that you're doing paying attention to that and then you're at your Leo uh, lunar eclipse and this will be the last lunar eclipse and then there's a final solar eclipse on August 11th finishing things up here so whatever gets revealed to you here in January first part of February you will finish it in August 2018 if you don't finish it now and so for you it is about improving that self-image uh, you know, making positive changes to your appearance and, uh, you know, doing what's right for you. Absolutely doing what's right for you. So for those of you open for love, you do have now, you know, by the third week in here, you've got Mars in that area of true love and romance. So there could be some passionate lover coming in here. Or maybe for those of you that are coupled, you're, you're taking a romantic getaway you know, in the 19th on, go for that romantic getaway or right at the beginning of the month, go for that romantic getaway. Um, absolutely. Even if it's a day or a weekend, you know, just get in the car and drive away, drive into the sunset <laughs> and, you know, enjoy that romance and fun. You could also be, you know, for those of you open for love, it could be someone that, you know, comes in and, and takes you on a romantic getaway. Someone that just sweeps you off your feet and says, I'm taking you away. And you're like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I got my raise. I got my new, my new look. And I'm ready for romance. Ready to get away and have fun and play. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> and then um, for those of you coupled, you know, do a romantic getaway. Do a vacation. Do a staycation. Set that time, especially around the eclipse, for some fun and, uh, you know, celebrating the relationship, celebrating the love, celebrating each other. Celebrate. 
career, you're moving up in what you're doing, you're going to be thinking about if you want to do it a little bit differently, maybe you want to travel more, maybe you want to uh, be more creative in what you're doing, but you're moving up in what you're doing and you're making more money. Money looks excellent for you this month. Money is improving and ask for that raise. Go for that raise. Health, you've got a big focus in here now with the health. How is your health? Your health, your wealth is in your health. The better you feel, the more you can achieve. The better you feel, the better your outlook is on life. It's all connected. The mind, body, spirit, and emotions, they're all connected. The better you feel, the better your life is. So make sure you're practicing extreme self-care. It's a free program I have on my website. It will help you to take really good care of you so that you are having an awesome year. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plus in my videos. Leo, you're rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you would like to work together, the links are below. They're also up in the cards. So until next time, Leo, romantic getaway. Go for it.